This video is only an overview of the parts installation, so be sure to check the website for the current downloadable instructions. Also, refer to a Porsche service manual anytime when performing work on your car. Remember to follow standard safety procedures, including the use of safety glasses, jack stands, and other proper lifting procedures. Hey guys, Daniel here with Elephant Racing. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install our rear adjustable drop links onto this Porsche 993 C2. These links feature maintenance-free precision rod ends that have been weather sealed. Unlike the stock sway bar, the RS sway bar sits beneath the tow link. The curved relief was added to clear the link and allow a proper no contact fit. These are used to adapt an RS style sway bar to your vehicle. They can also be modified to fit a wider range of applications by removing some of the material at the end of the link. We are going to be installing the drop link onto an MCS coilover. I find it easiest to remove the mounting plate and install directly onto the drop link before assembly. This method is unique to the MCS coilover. Attaching the drop link to other brands of coilovers is done by mounting directly to the strut body. All right, so now that we have the top of the drop link assembled, we've put the wheels on the car and we've gotten the car sitting at ride height on level ground with the wheels pointing forward. Now I've adjusted the drop link so that it can go in the sway bar and the geometry allows it to be clear on all sides. You want the sway bar adjusted up nice and high and tight. You don't want it hanging down where it can get caught on objects and drag on the ground. So you want to be able to pull it up as tight as possible. These drop links we had to shorten slightly that's in the design of the part. That is so that it can clear the tow link both at ride height and then as the suspension droops. Once you get your drop link where you want it, you always want to run the suspension through the travel and make sure that it still clears at all heights. I've got this bar set in the tightest position. You might need to adjust the length of the link depending on which position you choose. For optimum fit, torque that nut to spec, then move to the other side. As you can see, in some cases, the clearances are pretty tight. In this case, we needed to leave the plastic trim off the tow arm. Now you wanna try and insert the drop link from the other side. And check the length. In this case, the drop link is too short, making the pin sit crooked. This is going to preload your sway bar and is not correct. So I'm going to lengthen the drop link one rotation and then try again. I'm closer, but I still am gonna try one more rotation for best fitment. Now, you can see the length slides easily with no preload on the threads. This is the correct position. Tighten the nut and torque to spec. Lock the jam nuts afterwards and your installation is complete.